Mr. Phil Black's going to uh, have a few <coughs> Hey, what time is it, folks? 20, 22. 22. David's got to go with me. How much time you got, David? 10 well, we got David, minutes, got David, I know how to get there on time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw. I noticed you had your Bible. I didn't know where you Well, this is how we got started in this country, and I don't deviate from that. That's the basics. That was the first and beginning of our United States. Then, from the Bible came our Constitution. Okay, we have deviated so far from those two things. What we need is a religious revival. I've been accused of being the Reverend Mr. Black. That ain't true. We also need a political revival. So what I'm trying to come across is, if you will give me a chance, I will give us a political revival in Washington. I am a renegade. I do not go by the conformed political agenda. I have four promises. One, I will only take a salary of $38,000, not $164,000, $38,000. I will stay only four years. I will give you term limitations. I will stay with the health care program I've got. I will stay with my retirement. And the other night, I was in Aiken with Joe. And this is something that upside I... Down. Upside, upside down. Upside down. Okay. I told you I wasn't politically correct. <laughs> but anyway... <laughs> Just to say, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> there are 13,000 lobbyists. 15 of the largest corporations pay more in lobbyist fees than they do in corporate taxes. So we have a problem. If I'm elected, there will be no lobbyists allowed in my office. I will talk to any corporate employee, any corporate executive. I am free I am of mind of what we need to do. It's back to the basics. Free enterprise. What do we look at, we got to eliminate. I was on the Lexington School Board of One. Part of education needs to be taken away from Washington. 1976, it was founded. Okay, how do we educate our kids prior to that? We didn't need Washington to tell us how to do it. Every kid is not the same. To educate a kid in South Carolina is not the same as you do in California. Okay? So back to the basics. This is my story. All I ask you to do is, I'm not asking for campaigns. I have a budget, $5,000 is all I am going to spend. And I have spent $3,460 to get my name on the ballot. So we start with political reform. I ain't buying the office. What I want is not your contributions. I want the most precious thing you got. I want your vote. June the 12th, please come out and vote. Thank you very much, and may God bless. <laughs>